Boy, the quarterback rating is going to look good. And Jerry Bohannon's taken over at quarterback. And look at the wheels on Bohannon. But the new quarterback can run. Bohannon, <laughs> what a start to the new season for the redshirt freshman. Two-time state of... Bohannon on the play fake. Good strike. Man, it's complete for another first down. Taken in by Jared Atkinson, his first target of the night, the junior from Mesquite, Texas. Watch him get a big run of a boot. Boot turns around, gets around, swings his hips, throws an accurate ball on the outside. Pitch. Nothing but a little flag route. Pick. Pitch a catch. You got it. Real simple. He already blocked one person. He was trying to get a chip on another. And nobody accounts for the wide receiver. Touchdown. Baylor and Tyquan Thornton, the sophomore from Miami. Once you start moving guys up front, they lose their discipline, no longer look on the outside where their responsibilities are on defense. Think it is a run. Look, everybody thinking it's a run play. Watch the linebackers. Bite on the run. Leaves them all out there by himself. I mean, he just stood there. I'd have threw it to him, too. I mean, look at it. Wide open. Nobody even accounted for him. Any point in offense or defense, it can make up for the inequity. Bohannon could have had it picked, and it looked like it was going to be picked. Oh, yes. Quinn Jones, he was ready to run with the football, the outside linebacker, the strong side backer. Great lead. He read the play, undercut the, uncut the play. Look, undercut the route on that. He was actually beat. If he'd have thrown it on the outside, it might have been a great play, but he undercut it, realized he had to get between the quarterback and the receiver. Baylor gets it. They'll put it to the 14 now, first and 10. Bohannon stays in at quarterback. No, it is Zeno in at quarterback now. It's Jacob Zeno. He wanted to get a lot of guys involved. He told us that yesterday. And was that Bohannon? Is Bohannon still on the field? Okay, it is Bohannon from Frisco, Texas. So these games mean a lot to a lot of guys because they get an opportunity to get on the field. Little dump off works. It's complete and close to another first down. Taken in by Fleeks, the wide receiver. They get it now as Bohannon's going to stay in there. And on a run pass option, he'll call his own number and good, good yardage. And you know how it is when you're recruiting. They need a yard, and I don't think they got it. Looks like they're going to be coming up short. But uh, young men, you bring them in to recruit them. Get back to the thought about recruitment and then competing at a high level in this conference. Good play action fake. Bo Hannon, he's got the first down. Uh, well past the 40, out to the 45, almost the 46. That's why he's a great coach. But I mean, look at it. Looks like they deserve it. That's the fullback. And that is Kobe Bullard. He's the only fullback they list. <laughs> at 6'1", 230. Remember, I asked him about that. Yeah. <laughs> you had to run the boot. Turns his hips, fullback runs across the formation, get it out to him, throw him a bone every once in a while. See, fullbacks are the, they, they are receivers, they're not just blockers, they are receivers also, and you know, gotta throw him a bone every once in a while. Coach Rule got his guys going, and uh, we asked him about if this game becomes a blowout, you know, what is your, conceptually, what are you thinking about? Do you really put an earnest on scoring, you know, a lot of points? Does it help you go into, Maybe getting into the playoff system said, no, man, I just want to make sure all my guys played. They had a, a really tough camp. They deserve to get an opportunity to play, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's a man of his word. He's playing guys that wouldn't necessarily play through the season or if it's a tight game. I like his backup quarterback, don't you? Oh, this he's, capability. He's quick as a cat, isn't he? Jer Jerry Bo or Gary Bohannon, rather. Gary Bohannon, retro freshman from Earl, Arkansas. You just saw on that play the stop, the move. And the extra four or five yards. He is so quick. It is warm downstairs, everybody. Still very warm outside. Yep, he looked. Nothing available downfield. And he makes the play. Down to the 20. And out of bounds inside the 10, first and goal. <laughs> i tell you what. Yeah, he's got great his footwork. He Gary can get out of the pocket play. and make plays. This wasn't a designed run. This is actually a pass, and he decided to use his own athletic talent to get out there and run. He is cat quick, running away from linebackers. I mean, it takes a DB to go get him. Coming out of high school, 
You know, he's six three and a half. He's two fifteen. He's got big hands uh, from Earl, Arkansas, and he's a guy that really started off his career in high school as a running back, dynamic runner. Got more polished as his high school career went on. Highly recruited. Uh, but had a bunch of opportunities coming out. Shifty with the ball in his hands and guy who's trying to really get polished as a quarterback. I'm excited to see him play in the second half. All right, let's see if he can sling it on third down and eight. Pressure up the middle. Bohannon gets past that first wall. He's got a chance for the first down and he's got it. Oh, Gary Bohannon, how do you do? Look at this. He's tripped up at the 30. But what a play, what a snapshot of his athletic ability. And this is the type of play you get when you put the ball in Gary Bohannon's hands. And I don't care what's going on in this game. I don't care if this is not a Big 12 defense. He is absolutely making people miss, putting his foot aground, and he just, his buddies are going to roast him in the locker room for this one. Just can't keep his balance. Otherwise, that was going to be six. This is some early playing time to begin our second half. Bohannon, true drop back. Dumps it off to Lovett. And Lovett with room to run. He gets 15 yards before he's touched. You know, I like the decision to get Gary Bohannon in there right, by putting him in here a little earlier than a lot of teams would. Bohannon breaks the first tackle. Yeah, he's hard to catch. He's like Quicksilver. Mercury through your fingertips. Well, he's, he's so far, looks like what we thought we were going to see out of Frank Harris in terms of... You know, one defender wrapping him up is not enough to get him to the ground. Never a huge total, but he's always been healthy. More healthy than most of the backs over the last couple of years. Bohannon, the keeper. Bohannon, touchdown! How do you do? Gary Bohannon, the redshirt freshman, gets some playing time to begin our third quarter. And he orchestrates a beauty of a touchdown drive. Yeah, we saw Charlie Brewer... Zone read early in the first half, pull it. Finding a lane, and Bohannon right here is just being just being athletic. Defense bites on it, they tackle the running back. We were just talking about it. I, I don't see them not being favored until late in the year. They've got a bye next week. They've got Rice. They've got some, some very winnable games. Bohannon, designed quarterback run. Breaks through the front wall. Bohannon has the first down out to the 30. This kid can scoop 21 yards. I just love the way he runs. Not just because he's fast, not just because he's shifty. Plays behind his pads. Shifty between the tackles. He has a second gear. And then look at this. Great quarterbacks that are uh, running quarterbacks that are great runners, they use that off arm. They use it as a way to create separation at the end of plays. He big hits out of bounds, and you can get a couple extra tough yards at the end. Bohannon wants to throw. Middle of the field has a man open, and it's incomplete. He had Chris Platt open, but uh, there was a hit on the quarterback, and maybe that caused the ball to flutter. It's penalty flag down on the field. And he's got speed. Bohannon, the keeper, again, a huge chunk of yards for Bohannon, down to the five, barreling down to the two, oh, this guy, it's like a rolling ball of steak now, he's hard to bring down, 34 yards. And I hope Gary Bohannon has been conditioning this year because he is going to have his conditioning tested today as he continues to get in the open field. He's got the breakaway speed, but look at the tough yardage here. Runs like Ricky Williams. I don't care if these guys are corners or not. Bohannon. Almost caught behind the line. Just throws it up and out of play, trying to get it away. Things at Temple and other places. But he can't just come here and do that. He's got to also adapt to the personnel that they have and so he says you know what we've got my philosophy on how we do things and it's discipline and it's work ethic and it's finish and it's a lot of the things that you know are true of a lot of coaches in Texas but I did yesterday morning before our production meetings it was a blast awesome Gary Bohannon has been a real story here in the second half he struggles back to the line of scrimmage but there's a lot of guys that are really talented and bad programs and they don't win and for Matt it's important that these guys know how to win and know how to compete 
Uh, and he likes to see the ball come out of their hand. He wants guys with a natural uh, throwing motion. And, uh, and competitiveness is just such an important trait of this position. Third down at six, Bohannon trying to stay on the field. And he throws it away. So fourth down, I think the punt team will have to come on. Bohannon, quick jitter pass is complete. Out in space, that's the first time that we have seen Davis Bunkum. A completion, a broken tackle, and a first down pickup. Sneed. First and goal. Bohannon will keep. Gets to the outside and scores. They like the redshirt freshman's legs, and here he goes. What a drive by the Baylor Bears. Gary Bohannon will finish it off. Baylor very much in the game despite the fact they have 19 yards of offense, and they have a new quarterback. Here's Gary Bohannon, redshirt freshman from Earl, Arkansas. We saw Charlie Brewer run to the locker room. And we have not seen him back on the sideline yet. Bohannon experience backup. I've used him in a lot of situations near the goal line, almost as a Wildcat quarterback. He comes out throwing, and it's incomplete. Intended for Christoph Henley, especially given that he was clearly staggering yes. when he got up off the field. Here's Bohannon, as he mentioned, he's a good runner, and he's powerfully built. He made a mistake there. Yes, he ran he out of bounds a yard short of the line to make. Rather than Try to get that extra yard and get the first down. He's 6'3", 221 pounds. Preston Ebner, Jamichael Hasty, the running backs. Ebner on the right of Bohannon, who's getting blitzed. Got it away to Jamichael Hasty, but it's for a loss. Under four and a half minutes to go until halftime. Time for Bohannon, short throw, and it's dropped by Josh Fleeks. Six in the regular seating, the season meeting three weeks ago, and 11 in each of the two before that. Bohannon down the middle, almost intercepted. Trying to get it to Mims. Trey Brown dropped back into coverage and went off his fingertips. A few years ago, who elected to stay. He's being rewarded with an appearance of the championship game. Bohannon in trouble, sacked, and the ball comes popping. They're calling well, they're Mike DeFee's blowing the play dead, and he is. Ruling on the field is that the runner was down by contact. Down by contact. Second down. Which takes them back to the edge of field goal range. Still no sign of Charlie Brewer. So the backup, Gary Bohannon, continues. That pass over the middle, batted down by Kenneth Murray. Half this yardage to get in field goal range. Well, 23 yards of offense, and they can get into the locker room within four. That's a win for Baylor. They want more than that. Oh. To the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor Bears! Tyquan Thornton! They've gotten over the hump on both of those today. No Trey Brown at cornerback. Injured on the last kickoff return. Gary Bohan, we mentioned he's an adept runner. He got to the Oklahoma 45-yard line. It's the freshman Jaden Davis, number four, in at cornerback now, far side of the field. Went with a quick snap. Oklahoma was not ready. They lined up quick, went quarterback sneak to get the first down. Right now, Baylor's got the momentum. They've got three timeouts, a minute left. They're going to get the ball to start the third quarter. Can you imagine if they could go into the locker room leading no. the way this game started? They have 69 yards of offense. Now 70 as the official stats monitor is updated. Plenty of time for Bohannon. Throws it into a crowd. That had no chance. 44 seconds to go in the half. The game tied at 10. The Big 12 championship game. Bohannon pulls it down and gets pulled down. Good tackle by Jalen Redman. Third down and 11. Pressure brought by Oklahoma. The backup quarterback, Bohannon, just throws it straight up in the air. And it is caught by Tyquan Thornton. Sean, this is a case of a freshman cornerback, Jaden Davis, who has no idea the ball's in the air or how to make a play on the ball. That ball was thrown up for grabs. First and ten at the 11. One timeout left in the half now for Baylor. 
dominated for much of the half. But poised to take the lead. Can't take a sack. Bohannon. Can't take a sack. <laughs> he has made some plays that have not looked very pretty, yeah. but they've been effective. And that time it was effective just to get the ball away. He's a redshirt freshman. Second and ten. Play fake to the end zone. Broken up. Intended for R.J. Sneed. Resulted in a safety. That ends on Motley up here in the top. Bohannon looks in that direction, throws it too deep. Out of the back of the end zone. Minus .3 yards per play on first down. And <laughs> right on cue, Josh Fleeks dropped for a loss by Larian Turner Yell. And now they've got to figure out how to do it in spite of their offense. Bohannon elected to keep it. And as he turned the corner, he got hit hard by Pat Fields. Not the biggest defensive back in the country at 5'11", 192, but he's delivered a couple of big hits. Gary Bohannon played in eight games in the regular season. The relief of Charlie Brewer. Forced backwards, throws it over the middle dangerously again, and it's batted away by Trey Brown. There is a flag down. Neville Gallimore had good pressure on Bohannon. Holding offense number 55. That penalty's declined. Fourth down. And he has a good thing going there. I didn't get the sense he's in any hurry to leave. Yep. On second and ten, Gary Bohannon throws incomplete, trying to get it to Chris Platt. Historically, one of the best starts to a career in college football history is 35 and 5 as the Oklahoma head coach defending third down and 10. Ronnie Perkins puts the pressure on. It's going to make things even more interesting in the SEC West. Here's Gary Bohannon. Have to find some offense, right? They got to figure out something they can do with this guy at quarterback. That's probably their best first down play they've had all game. And they've got to find some things that, that he can do that he can be comfortable with and try to get themselves in some third down situations where it's four yards or less. He actually returned to the game briefly, even though it was clear he was wobbly when he got up from that hit. Taken for further evaluation and has not returned since. Bohannon. Tackled around the legs by Kenneth Murray. And Todd, I do think the Baylor people at the end of the game are going to have to answer some questions about why Brewer went back into the game. Another area in which they're much improved over the past. Looks like Murray's okay now, standing on the sideline. Bohannon. Sacked. Jalen Redman got enough of him to get him down at the 28-yard line. 